Hey you travel lovers and welcome back to Wanderlust for Life here on YouTube. In this video we're going to show you some things you can do around Wrocław, Poland. Yeah, so let's go see what we can get into. One thing that's kind of cool is you can just walk along the river to get over to the churches. Um, it's just a beautiful stone walk with the park. sounds going on. There's construction absolutely everywhere. But I wanted to say with the love blocks, um, they're not good for anywhere, any bridge. Um, don't recommend it. Uh, go on a date instead. And we are here at the Cathedral of John the Baptist and they have an amazing viewpoint and you basically walk up a spiral staircase and then you take a lift up and then you go up a couple more steps and you get this view. I love views. I love seeing the city from above because it's just a different perspective than you get every day while you're walking around. So definitely worth the couple's zloty to get up here. Um, I think it was 12 zloty per person to get up here and um, the chapels. Um, so not too bad. And we found where they sell the boat tickets and the cruise boats. It's right on the little island near the church. And we're gonna go on one. We are definitely taking this boat ride, as I mentioned. Uh, we got our tickets. And we actually saw this company yesterday. Um, so I figure why not? And hoping that it is a small boat, but we don't actually know. And this is 70 Slota, which is about 16.50 for both of us for a one hour cruise. So we're gonna get to see the old town and then we're gonna get to see the bigger waters as well. So I'm excited. This is almost a cheat thing to say, but you have to come to the square here in the city center. It is so beautiful. I'm just gonna do this, but I'll show you um, some actual footage as well. But it's just like, it's like ridiculous. It's like a storybook. What we found out was a lot was destroyed in um, World War II. And so they just kind of tried to rebuild it in a beautiful way. And the city, I think is really special. Our uh, tour guide uh, had a lot to say in um, why he loves the city. So. I think his love kind of rubbed off on me and um, it's just a beautiful place it has a great vibe to it it's very young there are so so many students here it's definitely a college town but you can feel the vibe you can feel the young kids there's a lot of immigrants as well um, and they're doing exceptionally well here so this is a very special city in my opinion One of the must-do things here in the city is to go up to that tower that is called the Mathematical Tower. And there's a museum and astronomy and all kinds of stuff up there. Super famous, supposed to be very beautiful, so let's go explore. Learn from our mistake. There is usually an audio guide. Be sure to ask for it because she offered it to some people and not to us. So, just so you know. All right, we made it to the top of the math tower here at the university. And the view is pretty spectacular. However, we're thinking the view from the church might be better, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't come to the university and check it out. So 
some tips for when you come to visit the university and the math tower is that um, they open at 10 o'clock but they're closed on Wednesdays so keep that in mind they take cash or card and uh, you can visit two up to four of the rooms or exhibits I guess um, sometimes one or two might be closed so keep an eye out on that but as soon as you walk in the door there's an information stand and a casa of uh, where you can buy your tickets yeah they'll help you out and then just pay attention to which rooms you're going into and it's pretty easy the museum's pretty cool if you like astronomy and then the tower gives you the amazing view this great spot right by the river and so this is a big boulevard area apparently there was um, a boulevard here for a couple centuries now and it was built on top of the old city walls which I think is pretty cool because I love when cities kind of keep that line so people can see how cities were built and grew um, but it's this big wide spans for people to walk and stroll and bike and all that kind of stuff down it's just great on a nice sunny day you can see it's a little overcast today but it's still pretty warm and you get this great view of the churches behind me and that used to be an island where the entire island was owned by the church um, but now it's not an island anymore but it's still really great to go up and look at the view which you've already seen um, so hopefully you didn't miss that Another place you should visit when you are here in the center of the city is the Old Town Gardens. And right behind me is an old carousel from the 18th century. And this park is from the late 1700s, so the second half of the 1700s. And it's right next to the promenade where the old city walls used to be, which is right by the water. Um, but this is about 1.4 hectares of land and it's just such a quiet space with tons of trees and greenery. Um, really beautiful place to relax. Like it actually looks like it's part of like Downton Abbey or something, which is kind of silly, but I wish I had a space here just to chill, relax, and have a sip of tea. Like there's one where there's a spot where you think that there'll be a fourth leaf, and then there's one that it just looks like there are three leaf clovers. I think somebody picked off the fourth leaf. They didn't want anybody to find a fourth leaf. that's gonna do it for today's video on Roswell Poland if you want more videos like this please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already leave a comment below letting us know what you'd like to do have you had fun it was great it's been a lot of fun so we hope to come back and we'll see you next time bye